Good afternoon. Welcome to another installment of Garage Chemistry. So we're continuing with our, our experiments on the chemistry of spies, and today we have some quote-unquote magic paper. So if we can take a look down here, we have a piece of paper here that, for whatever reason, is curling up. Um, I'm going to start with some copper sulfate. We're going to put about five, three to five drops of the copper sulfate on the tip of this cotton swab pen here. So one, two, three, there we go, that should do it. Doesn't take a lot. We've seen copper sulfate a number of times, very pleasant little blue color. and. As we can see, it, it's hard to see maybe, but it's really soaked into that cotton tip here. I'm going to make a crude representation of my, my school's mascot, a raven. So I'm going to kind of... And as we can see, over a little bit of time, that ink begins to develop. There we go. That ink begins to develop because what I didn't tell you to start with is the paper had been pre-treated with a chemical potassium iodide. As the potassium iodide reacts with the copper sulfate, it turns the iodide ions into iodine, which is purple colored. And the, the longer we go, the darker that, that ink becomes. Now, because this is all about the chemistry of spies, we can make that ink disappear. I have here some sodium bisulfite, also known as sodium thiosulfate. And we will put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A few drops of that on the end of a big cotton swab. And if I take this and begin to work back and forth, you will see that the raven almost completely disappears. This is because when the copper came in contact with the iodide, it oxidized the iodide, or rather reduced the iodide. Wait, wait, no. It oxidized it. Oxidized the iodide from iodide ions to iodine, which has no charge. So we went from negative one to positive one, which means it's been oxidized. Now, sodium thiosulfate is a reducing agent. So it has taken that iodine and reduced it back down to iodide. Not to worry, we can actually make it come back. If we want to see the, the, uh, the iodide come back here, we just simply need another oxidizing agent. So I have here potassium ferrocyanate, very bright yellow color on its own. But when I get that in here and begin to come back and forth, now here comes our raven again. Only this time, instead of being purple, our raven is brown. As the iron in this case is the the thing that is being oxidized. That's it for our magic paper. A lot of reactions going back and forth, some causing color to appear, some causing color to vanish. All of it theoretically use, usable by spies to create hidden messages that 
uh, our appearing or disappearing inks. We'll see you next time in another episode of Garage Chemistry.